Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the different LEGO April 2022 releases. There's some good ones from a bunch of different themes. And you know what? They're actually not all coming out on April 1st. They're spread out throughout the month. So let's get started because we've got lots of exciting LEGO sets to look at. So of course, as always, we're going to head on over to the LEGO website where they have a cute bunny rabbit here for the month of April, I guess. And also... The remaining days of March for Easter, right? Yeah, very exciting Easter gifts. Oh, I haven't clicked on that link before. Easter gifts, oh, there you go. It's a perfect Easter gift. It's the boutique hotel and the Vespa, but look at that. We're gonna get the uh, free gift with purchase. So there's two gifts with purchase right now. Uh, if you spend $65, you're gonna get uh, the chick and the egg and also uh, the bunny as well. So yeah, you're gonna get two free gift with purchases. Also, I guess, they still have the vintage taxi in stock. So that's cool. And they're advertising uh, all the modular buildings here, along with uh, some dot stuff and some double points on our particular uh, dots products and stuff like that. But we're thinking about looking at new releases, aren't we? So let's dive right into the most exciting one right after we look at this sale tab here. Oh, they got the boom box 30% off as well. And of course, some other video stuff and wonder woman versus cheetah is on sale as well i guess that's 20 percent off some brick heads and of course uh, all the video stuff is on sale you can uh, capitalize on these sales here on the lego website and also at the uh, lego stores as well so for sure the most hyped release of april in in my opinion i mean there's some good stuff coming out uh, in april but this one is super hype this is the back to the future time machine the DeLorean. This thing is awesome. You know, you get Doc Brown, you get Marty McFly. It can change into the, or all three versions of the DeLorean, which is pretty cool from the first movie, second or third. Uh, 10300 is the set number, it has 1,872 pieces. I've never seen this before. They have like this really cool graphic. Maybe I just haven't looked in depth, but they look at this. They have like this um survey here so you can answer when are you going to purchase this item like or, or how likely are you to purchase this item i guess <laughs> when are you going to purchase it I, I know for sure you're buying it okay but yeah i don't know maybe they're just trying to gather information on the delorean i guess or just uh, engage with their users this landing page is sick though you got like the delorean burning some rubber there you can get some interior shots it's got like the electricity pulsating around those images travel in style it's actually a really good sort of landing page that's pretty cool. I Obviously, everyone is pretty hyped for this set. I already have one, thanks to LAN. Uh, but yeah, that's coming out on uh, April 1st. And you know what? It retails for $170. Just keep in mind, all of these prices are actually in US dollars uh, here in this video. Another set that's coming out on April 1st that actually looks pretty cool. This is an Endgame Battle set. And it's just a minifig pack. I like the look of this minifig pack. You know, you get uh, Korg. Yeah, like look at that Korg minifig. That's pretty cool. Of course, you get Thor and also Meek. And that must be Valkyrie there as well. So that's a pretty cool little minifig pack coming out on April 1st, retailing for 15 bucks. I've been wanting new brick sketches for so long, and it turns out that we're getting two new brick sketches on April 1st. We're getting Miles Morales. So Miles Morales looks pretty cool. I like how he's got the hood going over top of, you know, his face that's masked up. I like that. It looks pretty neat. Also, I like how like the zipper, or sorry, like the, the hood pulls are here with these modified 1x2s. I just think that's pretty neat. So in addition to Miles Morales, we're also getting Iron Man. So I guess we're getting some Marvel brick sketches. I've been wanting some new brick sketches. I mean, we got the Joker, we got Batman, we got BB-8, uh, we got a Stormtrooper, uh, we got Mickey and Minnie. So it's nice to get some new ones. I was hoping that that line wasn't discontinued. And here we are getting some new ones. So that's pretty fresh. Now, I think everybody needs one of these. It's a new Ladybug keychain. Woohoo! You know, I said the DeLorean was one of the most hyped releases, but this one is pretty hyped as well. There's so much new uh, Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World stuff coming out. This one's going to retail for 100 bucks. It's coming out on April 17th. And this is the T-Rex breakout. You know, it looks pretty amazing. You get the large brick built t-rex that should be a really nice build probably has some technic maybe in the core of it i'm not sure i mean that looks pretty sweet though i know we've built the t-rex rampage uh which was a fantastic set that's now retired and this is like a little mini one a uh, little mini t-rex that is and also you get the uh the ford explorers right uh, i believe they're ford explorers from the uh, jurassic park along with like the electric fence 
This is sick. Also, look at the uh, different minifigures that you get in this set as well. Comes in some nice 18 plus packaging. And it's actually a pretty big piece count, 1,212 pieces. And it has the uh, the tile that has the quote, right? And also some awesome minifigures. Like, look at the uh, print detailing on them. They're all perspiring pretty uh, intensely there. And the little quote on the tile reads... Boy, do I ever hate being right all the time. And that's uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm that says that. And also comes with the Jurassic Park and Lego logo print piece as well. So we're going to see more of those print pieces with the quotes uh, in the new Star Wars sets that we'll have a look at in this video as well. There's more Jurassic World stuff coming out, of course, because of the new Jurassic World movie. Uh, we had a look at this one last month because it's been advertised on the LEGO website for quite some time. But this molded dinosaur is pretty neat. And also the minifigures that you get in this set are pretty stellar as well. But this is the most hyped one for sure. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you know, it's a pretty cute set. Look at the little Duplo dinosaurs that you get. I like this purple one right here. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. I'm just kidding about that one. It's not the most hyped. Maybe if you're in that age range, but this one is pretty cool because you get the Velociraptor uh, blue, right? And you also get Beta as well, like the little mini Velociraptor. So some great molded dinosaurs in there. And also the vehicle looks pretty good as well. So I'm pretty excited about that one. I'll, you know, for the most part, I don't collect this stuff just because like the prices are a little higher and I don't have a whole lot of these molded dinosaurs. But to get this blue and also Beta, I might have to consider picking this one up. There's lots of new Jurassic World stuff coming out. There's also this new plane here. And then this bike chase set as well, where you get a pretty interesting white dinosaur there as well i can't wait to see the new movie it's gonna be pretty awesome i do love me a triceratops there's just some little triceratopses that are pretty neat i might have to get this one because i mean you get some good minifigs that could be integrated into the lego city right you also get a good vehicle that could be integrated in the lego city plus you get the triceratops so yeah i mean that's not a bad little set i feel like there's not a whole lot of stuff there that i don't want i feel like it's good you know, an efficient use of all the parts and you get a really cool Triceratops and it retails for 40 bucks. So I might have to get that one to add some Lego uh, minifigures to the city and also get a vehicle and the Triceratops. So that pretty much wraps up all the Jurassic World stuff. This stuff is coming out mid-April. Uh, now we're actually diving into some new Star Wars stuff. So of course we revealed this on the channel the other day. This is the Trench Run. Uh, pretty cool. Doesn't come with any minifigures. A lot of small pieces I feel. Uh, yeah, but it looks good. The X-Wing looks fantastic and the Greebling is off the deep end. Also, uh, the print tile is pretty neat as well. It's got the famous Darth Vader quote, right? Which of course reads, the force is strong with this one and that's not bad. Those are those print tiles that I'm talking about. 665 pieces in this one and it retails for $60. But once again, no minifigures. The next one of the new little dioramas is the Dagobah training. Uh, I like this one. I love how you can pose uh, Luke up like on, on his hand, you know, like he's trading. And then also you get the muddy R2-D2. I think that's pretty fresh. And then the uh, print tile says, do or do not. There is no try. You also get Yoda and his hut. His hut doesn't look uh, very detailed. I mean, the exterior of it looks pretty awesome, but it looks like a pretty basic hut. Uh, the swamp is sort of next level. And the little X-Wing popping out of the swamp is really cool as well. So I think this one's got a lot going on for it. Uh, in, in particular, I like, I like the printed R2-D2. I think that's pretty cool. It's going to retail for 80 bucks, and this one has a 1,000 pieces. Uh, so I feel like it's a little bit better value than the Trench Run for sure. I slept on it. Of all three of these dioramas, I think this is the, the best one for sure. Uh, this is the Trash Compactor. It's got the famous quote, One thing's for sure, we're all going to be a lot skinnier, right, by, by Han Solo. Uh, I think this one's pretty neat. And particularly, I really like the minifigures. You know, it comes with a bundle of minifigures, six of them to be exact. You get uh, R2-D2, C-3PO, which are actually stashed away on the back here. And that C-3PO has new arm print detailing, which is next level, right? I like that. And then you also get Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and Han Solo and Luke Skywalker with their Stormtrooper uh, torsos. And I believe I was told, somebody commented saying that that's actually new Stormtrooper uh, print detailing and a new stormtrooper piece. So I'm pretty excited about that. This is definitely the best one uh, for the dioramas. It's going to retail for uh, $90 and has uh, how many pieces? Oh, it doesn't even say down there for some reason. 802 pieces. So I guess the price is ramped up because of all those minifigures, right? One thing we can't forget about is this one here. It's still coming out, uh, but not until June. You can pre-order it, but uh, this one is still on its way. 
And that's the uh, Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. When does this movie come out? That being the uh, the new Thor movie. I believe Thunder and Love it's called. Because this is the goat boat. Look at the goats pulling the, uh, the boat. <laughs> I'm going to have that flying over the Lego City, of course. You got uh, Valkyrie. You got uh, Korg. You got a really cool looking uh, Thor there. Look at the print detailing on Thor. That's super neat. Wow. I never looked at that until right now. Like, I'm seeing that for the first time. Let's see when this movie comes out. Uh, Thor, Thunder, and Love, right? And Love. Let's 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 check it out. Thor, Thunder, and Love. When is it coming out? Oh, I guess I should have added release date. Okay, so it's coming out on July 8th, Thor, Thunder, and Love. All right. So we know that that set is coming out in April, and the movie is coming out on July 8th. So there you go. You get a sneak preview at some of the costumes of that we're going to see in the movie, right? There we go. Minifig form of those and also some characters as well. You can uh, get some spoilers from the movie by just looking at this Lego set. Also something else coming out uh, in April and it's not a Lego set, but it's an it's a Lego game. Are you going to be playing the new uh, Skywalker saga? I think I am for sure. It comes out on April 5th. I'm going to be downloading that for Xbox for sure. We've all seen this one too. It's coming out in May. So some of this stuff actually isn't coming out in April. This one's coming out in May. It's the Horizon Forbidden West. The Tall Neck never played the game, but looks like a very good build. Also, there's a bunch of new Mario stuff coming out, not in April, but actually on August 1st. So there's the Goomba shoe expansion. And there's the biggest one, best one. I probably should have started this one for 130 bucks. You're gonna get the Peach's Castle expansion. Uh, I really like the Bowser in that. The Bowser there is uh, looking pretty fresh. I'm sort of covering him up. Let's see if there's a better photo. Oh, there's only one photo. But yeah, you see this Bowser right there? Yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. I like that brick-built Bowser for sure. I also really like these uh, cone tower pieces at the top there. Those look like cool pieces. I've never seen those before. So Peach's Castle, not what I wanted it to be. Like, not what I wanted it to be at all. I was sort of hoping for like an 18-plus style Peach's Castle. But... This is more like the play sets. So, I mean, I'm a fan of it, but not a huge fan of it. I won't be getting it. And that goes for the other stuff as well coming out in August. I won't be getting any of this. But, I mean, if you're into collecting this stuff, or if you're making a big Mario scene, then, I mean, I'm sure this is right up your alley. And these are some good expansion sets, right? Like, look at that. That's not bad. I think this is my favorite, though. I might be getting this one. Uh, the Yoshi one. I, I like Yoshi. Look at that. Some cool print pieces there. I think that, that must be a print piece. A Yoshi print piece. Very cool. But I mean, overall, I, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of of these sets. I like the characters and I like the mini builds, but they're just a little too scattered for me. Uh, the new character right here, which is uh, similar to the Mario and Luigi digital figure, is the Peach one on the left there. That actually looks really good. It looks pretty detailed, actually. I like her crown and her facial expression and some of the coloring on her body is, is fantastic. But I can't say that I'm going to be getting any of that stuff. So there we go, everybody. That's all the new stuff that we know of right now. I mean, there might be some more stuff coming out in April. Who knows? But we actually get a preview into the future as well with some of that Mario stuff coming out in August. But yeah, we got lots of good uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World stuff. Uh, we got some good Star Wars stuff and also the DeLorean. Some new brick sketches. Oh, I didn't take a look at that right there. There's the... Uh, Spider-Man and Green Goblin mech? When does that come out? I think this was just added to the website, April 1st. So you get uh, Green Goblin and Spider-Man. Hey, those mechs look pretty cool. Some good minifigures in there for sure. So obviously they're always adding new stuff to the website. And they're always coming out with new and improved products, right? But that's all the stuff that we know of so far. Let us know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for popping on by. Hope you enjoyed our April preview video. Farewell.